which is great. That's the fact. I get to do all the fun work, and then the staff does all the like less fun work. It's a first order approximation. Uh, that, that's not actually entirely true, but. Uh, Okay, so, um... So, I, I have to ask, can I just literally, like, use coordinates? Uh, like, I feel like I can explicitly parameterize, uh... <laughs> you, you start at A, and then there, there's two speeds, and you... <laughs> I, I doubt that's what's intended, but it really feels like I should just be able to do that. Because the, the thing about speeds is something about the... Yeah. Well, I will not do that for now, unless I run out of things to try. Um, but essentially, uh, it does feel a little weird to me that the result is true, to be honest. Because it's like the... Oh wait, there, there's even a condition that they return to A after one revolution. I did not see that at first. Okay, that, that makes this a little less surprising. I thought that it was like... Okay, okay. Um, so... There's like a time, and then there's a second time. Uh, so... This angle... The angles are the same actually, right? For them to... Oh, okay, okay, this is a geometry problem again. Because I was looking at it and I thought it was like... Uh, what do you call it? I didn't realize... I, I didn't read the condition that they... Um, hit A at the same time, so I was really confused how it was, like, possibly true. But if the angles are the same, you know, now it's a geo problem. We're, we're in business again. Uh, so, um... I have two spirally similar triangles. Nope. So, there's a spiral similarity at A, which sends, um... So I'm gonna look at this triangle. And there's a spiral similarity. Actually, it's a rotation, right? Uh, no, sorry. One of them's a rotation, but it's not the... Hmm. I feel like I can zoom in. I think I don't actually won't need much space now. So, there's that triangle there. And then there's like another triangle that's similar to it. And so this triangle is spinning. Like, I can imagine the purple triangle spinning. Um, did I mess something up? That doesn't look similar at all. Uh, I definitely messed something up. <laughs> wait, 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 alright, you, I, I messed up. Uh... Or maybe my diagram is just bad, maybe that's the issue. Yeah, I, I think the diagram is just bad. I think X is like way off. Let, let me fix that. Yeah, so basically there's a spiral similarity. Like, th this guy's rotating and then... The only thing is that there's some um, ratio that I have to actually think about. Like, the ratio is... Uh, what, what is it? I think it's trick wise. Um, it's interesting though, because it's basically like I can parameterize the entire um, picture based actually just on the yellow triangle. I almost think the... Circles are a little misleading. Maybe I will, um... I, I almost don't want- I almost want to delete the circles, because I feel like it, this just is a spiral sim. Like, it's a rotation, and you want to show that the perpendicular bisector of xy goes through some point that depends only on the yellow triangle. Um, I wonder what that point could be. If I draw the, uh... Uh, 
Well, okay, if I want to find the point, I should just look at a special case, right? Like, look at a few special cases and then figure out what's going on. So, X and Y, like that, uh... They could all be at A, or they could all be at the antipodes. So, that special point should lie on, like, uh... <sighs> all right, well, we'll dilate this triangle. So here's the antipodes um, and the special. Oh wait, yeah. So this is x to homology, and so the special point lies somewhere on. Maybe I actually want to use the big triangle to be honest, like rather than the small triangle. Is it like the circumcenter of the big triangle? Will that work? No, 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 no way. Uh, that's not even close. All right, I you know. Should I just use GeoGebra? Because I think if I use GeoGebra, then I'll just be able to see what the special point is, and then the problem should probably die after that. But that feels like a little bit of cheating in some way. Like, I don't mind doing this for, like, the actual synthetic Geo, but this one looks, um, simple enough. I might want to handicap myself and not just throw GeoGebra at it. Also, I think I recognize this picture now that I'm looking a little... Yeah, I'm gonna redo this picture because I think... Um, I think I, I really actually don't want the circles. So we're gonna... Our base will be a fixed triangle. It will be... A... Uh, I'll call it B and C and there's like two centers like O1 and O2 so those are where the two circles are and the point is that there is this moving triangle where I uh, rotate through O1 and O2 by some fixed amount Actually, I don't want to yeah, I want to. I want to draw the altitude first. So in my fixed triangle, I think this altitude point might do. It might end up being relevant because it's actually on both the circles. So okay, I'll, I'll draw the circles. Fine, fine, fine. Uh. That's not how you. Uh, no. Okay, you know, let me stick to the tools I know. Uh, I think the auto fix made it worse. X B Y collinear, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm I'm relabeling everything at this point, um, to look more like a normal geo problem. I I feel like it's not. Con I thought when I first looked at it, it was a combo problem about a racetrack, but this is actually geo. Okay, so. Diagram is so bad. Uh, I'm gonna redo the blue circles. They're, they're way off. Oh, redo. Go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away. It's like painful to look at because the circles just obviously don't go through D. Okay, so um, I'm hearing so that X, D, Y are collinear, and this is true because the angle is just... I think this is the Salman theorem, actually, or something like that. Um, X, D, Y are collinear because what happens is the angle A, O, X, 1 gets halved here. Yeah, this is, a, this is that so-called Salman picture. It's like X, D, Y are collinear because this angle was theta, so this is theta over 2. This angle was theta, so this is like 180 minus theta over 2. So, we'll actually just do it that way. 
So now the problem is much simpler. It's like I have um, rather than talk about the tracks having being equal spaced or something, um, it's just I have a line x y through this d and this particular picture. I want to show all the perpendicular bisectors go through a fixed point. And I wonder where it is. So d. I'm trying to think what the extreme cases are. So if I take BC, you get the perpendicular bisector of BC, no problem. I might even be able to delete O1 and O2 now, actually. I might not need them anymore. Ah. I'll label them again if I need them. So one of the, is perpendicular bisector of BC. And then also um, if I rotate the line so that it's A, it's like, I think it's like this line, right? So the claim is that if I draw this thing, this should be it. So you take the perpendicular bisector and intersect it with like the parallel line through A. Am I doing that right? Okay, and maybe I can just show this somehow. Like, maybe... I don't know if that Z point is actually correct, to be honest. I really should just find another special case to look at. I, I think it's... Uh, no, I think Z is not right. It, when when this line approaches the vertical one, it degenerates into A, but I don't think it... As it's approaching, it's not perpendicular, right? Or it, it sort of is. It's... It, it kind of... Uh. No, I think it should be. It generates BC is parallel to AD. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Or X, it's XY, not BC, because BC I'm treating as fixed. But yeah, I think that should be the right point. So maybe at, what I should do now is I should add in the midpoints, right? Because the midpoints are also just carried over by the spiral sim. So like the spiral sim that sends AXN to ABM, um, does something, I don't know what it does. Uh, I should get some cyclic chords somehow. Man, I, I should know how this works. One moment, please. Consider where it sends Z. Well, okay, so I guess, I mean, the spiral sim theory is telling me that I think AD and M are cyclic, is that right? Which is good because Z lies on that circle too because of that rectangle. So all these points are cyclic by spiral sim theory. Okay, and that gives me the right angle. Okay, so we're fine. I think it just works. Uh, 
All right. <laughs> Has TSTST already happened? No, and it won't. Um, where TSTST, I think, will probably happen in the fall right now as we try to figure out what exactly the Corona situation is. Um, but basically, there were there was like this like flicker of hope that maybe we can uh, proctor have like someone that's not a parent proctor the test, but it's not clear what's going to happen. The way things are going. Um, Although also mob I guess was put together on such a tight schedule that I'm not sure I would have wanted a high stakes test during the camp anyways. Um so yeah, punt. <laughs> Any questions on the IMO three? Uh I th I think this just works. And is a nice spiral sim example for that matter. Has USI mode been decided for 2020? Yes, we will send. We are planning to send a team t for USA to IMO 2020. Um, it's been selected. I don't know when it's being announced. It's been selected for a while, actually. Um, but I, I don't know when they plan to tell everyone else. Okay, all right. I think I have one more problem.